Hello everybody, it's Murialda here again and we've got the phone out and we're looking at some wallpapers on the TV and it is June so it's been a little bit of time so let's do a mid-year uh, collection tour. Yay! Collection tours! Gotta love them, gotta hate them, whatever. But yeah, so we'll, we'll look at some wallpapers and we'll move on. So you'll notice a lot of the shelves on the, de the details haven't changed a whole lot. There's the Dragon Wall Scroll. I don't change things up a lot, but I did get a shitload of new figures and I have a shitload on order. So hanging off my thermostat, we have the Luxuria Wall Scroll. And we have Milo. Say hi, Milo. Say hi. You're not going to say hi, are you? There we go. So yeah. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll go into the kitchen. So, as my details have filled up, I have moved the dragons out of them and into a hutch that I got. And this kind of illustrates why I'm not the biggest fan of wooden display cases. In that, they just, the frames hide so much stuff, it's hard to see them. So we'll, we'll gloss through these because I know you're here for the anime stuff, but there's a dragon. There's a dragon with the wizard. There is a dragon. And there is another dragon. And hey, there's wolves. That one's from Arizona. And there's a sawdust dragon and a light up dragon that is not lit up. And we have a burnt out light. And these two kind of get hidden by the frames a lot. So there's the incense dragon and the dragon with the fairy. There's the oriental dragon. And another big dragon. And then another dragon. And another dragon. And yet another dragon. How many times can I say another dragon? How about a couple more times? So there's another dragon and another dragon. And now we shall turn right. And we have Tamamo. Gotta love Tamamo. This is the big wall scroll. Almost life size. And this is from Fate Extella. But yes, Tamamo. And then over here, we have Jibril. Yes, Jibril. From No Game, No Life. Gotta love her. And then we have Neppy Nap, Neptune, and Iris Heart, Purple Heart. Both Purple Hearts. From Hyperdimension Neptunia. Yeah, v. Rebirth 3. V Generation. So yes, three wall scrolls. Well, four if you count the Luxuria one. And we can see some more wallpapers. And then we shall turn right again and look at the couch. And we see a Tamamo Dakimakura. Can you tell I love Tamamo? And we have uh, Le Leviathan's bonus fib microfiber washcloth. And then if we flip Tamamo over, we knock stuff off the couch. And put it back up and we try to keep the safer work to her but yes there is the other side of Tamamo she is wearing a bikini so still safer work well not really but let's turn to the left again hi Milo and look at a wallpaper too and now we shall turn left and woohoo there is the collection, the stuff that you're probably the most interested in. As you can see, the details are quite full. And I actually considered going to Ikea today to pick up a few more. But then I got the invoice for my credit card, which has a bunch of really big yearly payments, like my insurance payments. And I'm not going to Ikea. <laughs> but anyways, we have some more dragons. And now we have fucking Tamamo. Oh, yes. I haven't unboxed this one yet. She's still sealed up. This is the re-release. Uh, Tamamo no Mai caster from Fate Extra CCC in her casual clothes. It is my favorite figure, which is why I bought the second one. But 
I, I may just leave her in the box and keep her pristine just in case something happens to the other one. And then we have a 1-1 scale figure, Tamayori Hime from Wickross. Uh, and she is manufactured by Amakuni. I don't know if I mentioned, but Tamamo is manufactured by Flair. Or Tamamo is manufactured by Broccoli from Fate Extra CCC. Caster. And then we have Mika Jogasaki from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. This one is manufactured by Wave. She is in her swimsuit. And look at her boobs. Moving over, we start the Seven Deadly Sins set. I refuse to call it the Seven Mortal Sins. I think it sounds stupid. And we threw Forte in for the heck of it because she matches. But yes, we have Satan, the Sin of Wrath. And she is manufactured, I think, by Orchid Seed. I'm not sure if which ones are Orchid Seed and Namakuni, but whatever. But yes, Satan. And then we have Lucifer, the Sin of Pride. I think Orchid Seed. And I took her shoulder pads off. And Lucifer loves to wobble. So yay. And then we have Asmodeus, the Sin of Lust. This is the recolor version of her. And I think Orchid Seed again, but could be wrong. And then we have Leviathan, the Sin of Envy. She's got her buddy Behemoth. And there's her base. So Leviathan is by Amakuni. I did manage to get her shirt closed at one time, but she's pop it's popped open since I've broken two pegs off that side trying to get her shirt closed. So yay. Now we have Nepi Nep, Purple Heart from Hyperdimension Neptunia in her evening gown. This one is manufactured by Wing. And fucking Tamamo. Oh yes, another Tamamo. From Fate Extra CCC. This one is manufactured by Fat Company. And I believe this is the original Tamamo scale figure. I mean, it's, of course, like the latest re-release of it, but I believe this design was the first one. And then we have Izuna. Yakuman Kongo Kyubei Izuna, I think. From Shinra Bansho Chocolate. Manufactured by Mega House. Look at all those tails. And that side boob. And then next to her, also from Shinra Bansho Chocolate, we have Arcana. Kira Satan Arcana, I believe. She is quite cute. And then we have a useful, handy, dandy dragon that is holding a removable sword that doubles as a letter opener. And that is why he's separate from the other dragons. And I think I glossed over but I, and skipped Forte. So this is Forte from Rage of Bahamut, not Seven Deadly Sins, but Rage of Bahamut, and she is manufactured by Kotobukiya, and she is freaking huge, and she fits in with the Seven Deadly Sins, I think, but she will fit inside a Detolf, but you kind of got to angle her, and then she loses some of her impressiveness, so yay. So now we shall actually go inside the Detolfs, and we shall start with Tokisaki Kurumi from Data Live. Manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. Not the greatest quality figure, but I absolutely love her. And then we have Shinanona Hoki, best girl from Infinite Stratos. This is a 1 4 scale figure and is manufactured by Freeing. And goddamn, does she take up a lot of space. And then we have Sento Isuzu from Amagi Brilliant Park. This one is manufactured by Stronger. So now we shall move down a shelf and we shall start with Leafa from Sword Art Online, manufactured by Kotobukiya. And this one just got a re-release, so if you want her, you can buy her. And then from Shining Arc, I think, we have Velvet Batross, manufactured by Alpha Max. And she has three giant, well, two giant chests. Giant chest there, and a giant chest there. And then we have Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online, also manufactured by Kotobukiya. 
and I think she also just got a re-release. -re then from Shining Resonance, we have Rena Mayfield, ma manufactured by Kotobukiya. And she has her little bird friend fromage sitting on her magnetic ass. And then we have Neris Filium from Shining Hearts and manufactured by, can you guess, Kotobukiya. So now moving down a shelf, we have Supersonico after the party version. And this one is manufactured by Shoyakusha or Wings Company. And then we have Supersonico, the Macaroon Tower version. This one is manufactured by Alpha Max, and she has a macaroon in her boobs. And then we have an original character, Usami Mizugi, manufactured by Quest Q. And then moving down, we have Alyssa Ilinichina Amiela from God Eater 2, and she is manufactured by Plum. She also recently got a re-release, so if you want her, that one may still be available. And then we have Shiemi Ishibai, who is a variation of the Kaone Ka, and she is manufactured by Union Creative. So now that is that detolf done. So we shall move on to the next one. And we shall start with Takao from Arpeggio of Blue Steel, Ars Nova. This one is manufactured by Quest Q. And then we have another 1-4 scale. This one is Shirashiki Tatanashi from Infinite Stratos, manufactured by Freeing. And she is Tits and Ashi. And then, fucking Tamamo. Yes, we've got yet another Tamamo. As I said, I have one, two. But she is my favorite figure. She is the one that made me fall in love with Tamamo. And she is manufactured by Flair and is from Fate Extra CCC. Tamamo. And now we have Yagami Suruki from Sasami Ganbaranai. And this one is manufactured by Mega House. And she is a cutie. And then, before they chopped off all their hair, which was the worst decision ever, we have Black Hanakawa from Bakemonogatari, manufactured by Alter. Yeah. Moving down a shelf, we have Aizu Wakamatsu from Shirohime Quest. This one is manufactured by New Vision Toys. And then we have Battle Maiden Navi from Lord of Valkyrie, and she is manufactured by Aquamarine. And then we have Sansei Muramasa, the White Race Queen version of her, from Full Metal Damon Muramasa. And she is manufactured by Orca Toys. And then we have Airi Kashi from Rokibu. And she is manufactured by Plum. And she is surprisingly amazing. Oh yes, look at that side view and those boobs. Her ass is even more amazing. And then we have Tomokami Nato from Rokibu, also manufactured by Plum. I think that's the whole of the Rokibu set I'm going to get. And then we have Astrea and Ikaros from Sora no Otoshimono. They are accessory figures for my nymph figure down there. So yeah, moving down a shelf, we have another Sansei Muramasa from Full Metal Damon Muramasa. This one is by Wing. I think this is the original Muramasa. And then we have Oncidium from Flower Night Girl. And this one is manufactured by Plum. And I really love her. And then we have Mistral Narius, or Misty, from Shining Hearts. I think this one was from. And she is manufactured by Yamato. And then moving down a shelf, we have... Ignis from Jingai Makyo Chaos Gate. And this one is manufactured by Max Factory. And then we have Eris, not Ellis. She is from Asobi ni Ikuyo, or, or Cat Planet Cuties, if you love that title, which I hate. But she is manufactured by Griffin. And then we have Lucy Hartphilia from Fairy Tail. And she is manufactured by Good Smile. 
So that is that day tolf. So now we shall move on to the next one. So we shall start with who else? Lucy Harfilia. She is from Fairy Tale, of course, and this one is manufactured by Orca Toys. This is the White Cat Gravier style version of her. And she keeps getting shoved in the back, but she is a beautiful figure and I hate it. And she deserves to be in front, but she fits so well in the back. And then we have Percival. Percy, 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 Percy. She is from uh, AU Senki Gold. And she is a 1 4 scale figure, as you can tell. And she is manufactured by Freeing. And she's got an amazing ass. And then we have uh, Felicia von Flamberg from Sword and Wizards, blah, 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 blah. And she is manufactured by Kotobuki, actually. And she has the legs of a goddess and the ass of a succubus. She is amazing, and I am so glad I got her. And then we have an original character, Lilica, or Rilica. And she is manufactured by Flair. She is quite cute. And then we have Sakurahina, a very sexy arrow figure. I do have her underwear on at least. But she is an original character and is manufactured by Skytube or Alpha Max. And she has a beautiful face. Moving down, we have. Mishima Harna, she is a mascot character from the Chunitham game. And she is manufactured by Alpha Max. And then we have another Sento Isuzu from Amagi Brilliant Park. This one is manufactured by Alter. And she comes with Moffle, who has fallen over. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. And yeah, oh, I said Alter, I think. Then we have Harna Kaini from Kantai Collection. This one is manufactured by uh, Amakuni. She is close to perfect, and she is the best boat. And then we have Harna's Medichu from Fat Company. And we have World Class Medichu from Fat Company. She is the only Abyssal that I own, and she is cute. And then moving down, we have Tart from uh, Tears to, to yeah, Tears to Tiara 2. She is manufactured by Vertex. And you may not be able to tell, but she is a pain to assemble. But she is beautiful and I love her. And then we have Akino, Himejima Akino from High School DXD, manufactured by Griffin Enterprises or uh, Grand Toys. And she has a soft body, so all of her body pretty much is squeezable. She is massive, and she is beautiful. And then we have Rory Mercury from Gate, blah, 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 blah. And she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And Rory, best girl. Moving down, we have Tanishima Papala from Working. And she is manufactured by Alter. And then we have Skahach, or Lancer, from Fake Grand Order. And mine is not Headless. She is manufactured by Plum. And then we have Mia from Monster Musume no Iru Nishijo. And she is manufactured by Demolto Ben. And she is okay, but not worth the price I paid for her. But Mia Best Monster. So now we have another Detolf to look at. So this one is a mostly hyperdimension Neptunia shelf, with the exception of Hatsune Miku. This is Racing Miku 2013. She is manufactured by Good Smile, Good Smile Racing. And then the rest are from Hyperdimension Neptunia. So we have Purple Heart. This one is manufactured by Wing. And this is the frickin' goddess that got me into collecting. She totally flipped my switch. And this has all grown from her. And she is best goddess. Next to her, we have her friend, Noir, or 
Blackheart. This one is manufactured by Alter. Has a huge sword. And her wings are the worst thing ever to assemble. And then we have Noir again. This time she is not in her CPU form. This one is by Broccoli. And Noir is the best non-goddess, and I love that outfit and the, just the way she looks. And then we have a, a crystal paperweight. And if I had thought about it, I would have turned this on ahead of time. Hold on a second. There we go. And she has a light-up base. So, yay. So now we'll move down. And this is a Kantai Collection shelf. We have number two in the wonderful hobby selection. This is Yamato Kaini. Or Yamato, at least. Uh, Yamato Kai, that's what it is. Manufactured by Max Factory. And we have Yamato's Medichu by Fat Company. Next to her, we have Congo, the half damage version, by Max Factory. She's taking some damage, oh yes. And then we, of course, have Congo's Medichu, which is quite cute, by Fat Company. And then we have Shimikaze with Renzo Hochans by Good Smile and Shimikaze's Medichu. And Shimikaze, for some reason, her video has become the most popular video on my channel. So, yay. Moving down the shelf, we start with a skin shelf. So this is Rias Gremory from High School DxD. This is the best version of Rias that I think. Uh, she is manufactured by Griffin and is a soft bus version. Then we have Yagyu Jubei in her swimsuit. She is from Hyaka Rowan Samurai Girls. And that one is manufactured by Alter. And then we have Nishikino Maki from Love Life. Yes, I did succumb and actually bought a Love Life figure. And this one is by Alter. And then we have Charlotte Dunois. Yes, that is Charlotte Dunois from Infinite Stratos. She is manufactured by Griffin. This is the Yume no Naka no Maid version. And I love her. She's beautiful. Not perfect, but beautiful. Then we have Asuka from Senran Kagura. This one is manufactured by Alter. And then we have Shinonono Hoki from Wave, part of their Dream Text series. And she is from Infinite Stratos. And then we have Himikawa Hayuru from Masogakuen HXH. And this one is manufactured by Alpha Max. And then we have Kawashima Ami from Toradora. This one is manufactured by Kospa Regina. And she is my very first figure ever. And then we have Plum from Fight Ipats Jujen Chan. And she is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And I think I paid like 20 bucks for her. And then we have Yaya from Unbreakable Machine Doll. And she is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises. So now, I'll stand back up and move on to the last day golf. So this one is like a demon shelf. So we shall start with Luxuria from Zillions of Enemy XZX. She is manufactured by Broccoli. And since the day that I opened her, I said you should buy her. And that opinion hasn't changed, though she is kind of hard to find. And then we have Asterote from Shinra Bancho Chocolate. Manufactured by Mega House. Gotta love her. And then we have Asteroid's daughter, Ismodius, from Shinra Bancho Chocolate. Manufactured by Mega House, of course. And I think she is actually my favorite of the Shinra Bancho set. Next, we have Asmodius from the Seven Deadly Sins. This is the Kuri Shiri Ice Cream Nobushi version. And look at that ice cream. But she is gorgeous. She is very sexual. And her nipples are out. So yay. And then we have the beautiful Mephmera. Mephmera is from Dungeon Travelers 2. And is manufactured by Alter. She is gorgeous. Moving down a shelf. We have 
Leon Michelle Galette de Raw from Dog Days, and she is manufactured by Good Smile. Then we have Yagyu Chu Bay from uh, Yucca Rowan Samurai Girls, manufactured by Alter. And then we have Vanya, or Little Queen Vanya, or Vampy, from Rage of Bahamut, and she is manufactured by Kotobukiya, and I love her. She's got some bad friends. And then we have Naoe Kanetsugu from Yucca Rowan Samurai Girls, and she is manufactured by Alter. And her stand is a worthless piece of crap for the giant hammer. Moving down, we have a swimsuit shelf. So we've got Shinanuna Hoki from Infinite Stratos, manufactured by Gift. And then we have Charlotte Denois from Infinite Stratos, manufactured by Gift. And then we have Rinka Kunitachi from Kononaka Iru, or My Little Sister is Amongst Them, or something like that. But she is best girl, and she is manufactured by Freeing, and is in ribbons, kind of like a swimsuit. Then we have Alpha Max's version of Charlotte Denois from Infinite Stratos. And then we have Amil Manaflare from Shining Hearts, manufactured by Kotobukiya. And I love her. And then we have Astrea from Sora no Otoshimono. She is manufactured by Skytube. And then we have Nymph from Sora no Otoshimono. She is manufactured by Kotobukiya. And then fucking Tamamo. Gotta close it off with Tamamo. We have Tamamo no Mai or Caster from Fate Extra CCC. And she is manufactured by Fat Company. So yay, we have gone through the collection, or at least most of it. Tamamo, Milo, wallpapers. So I'm gonna do a quick cut right now uh, so that I don't run out of recording space and can set the camera up. I'll be right back. All right, the camera has been mostly set up and the recording has been recycled, so we have some time to go through the pre-orders I have. There's a lot of pre-orders, and yeah, there's a lot of pre-orders. I spent lots of money. <laughs> so yes, uh, for June, which it's currently June, why I didn't wait for the to do this until after I got these? Well, I don't know for sure when they're coming out. Could be the 30th, could be next month. But so far, no official delays have been announced. So we'll start with Stardust. Uh, Stardust is from Vocaloid 4. She is 1A scale and is manufactured by My Ethos. And Stardust is not allowed on MSC, don't, so don't look for her there. But she is quite beautiful, so I decided to buy her. Uh, next, we have Yamai Yuzuru from Data Live 2. And she is a 1A scale figure, manufactured by Griffin Enterprises, or their new name is Grand Toys. And we also have her twin, Yamai Kaguya, from Data Live 2, and also 1A scale, and also from Griffin Enterprises or Grand Toys. Yay! And closing out a heavy Data Live month, we have the re release of Tokisaki Kurumi from Data Live 2. Uh, one seventh scale and manufactured by Alpha Max. She has shot up in the aftermarket, so I'm glad Alpha Max decided to re-release her. So in July, we probably have the four that I just mentioned, but I don't actually have anything specifically ordered for July. How'd that happen? But I, in August, I have Purple Heart. Yes, I got my goddess. She is from Hyperdimension Neptunia and is a 1 7 scale, and she is by Alter. So hopefully, she's a little bit easier to assemble than uh, Blackheart was. I also have Eleonora Viltaria, or Ellen, from Madonna O Novanitis, and she is a 1A scale figure, and she is by Penguin Parade. Haven't had. Or. I haven't bought anything from Penguin Parade yet, and I've read that they can be sketchy, so eh. But it's Ellen. I love Ellen. And then we have Jibril. Gotta love Jibril from No Game, No Life. 
one seven scale by Fat Company. And she was supposed to come out in June, but she got delayed by two months at least. I'm guessing it'll be October. But anyways, moving on. In September, I have Ryuzu from Clockwork Planet ordered. Now, Ryuzu is technically an August release, but I held off so long in deciding to buy her, I wound up having to buy her from a U.S. store, so there's at least a month delay. Uh, one seven scale and buy Kotobukiya. And then I have yet another Tokisaki Kurumi ordered from Data Live 2. And this one is a 1 8 scale figure and is by Broccoli. And then we have another adult figure. We have Yuzuki Kana from Nowhere. She's an original character. I guess she was a cover girl on Comic Aun. She is by, uh, drawn by Misaki Kurehito, who I love. And she is a 1 6 scale figure and is by Skytube, or Alpha Max. And she has some interesting accessories. Then, listed in October, I have Yukishiro Furuka to go with Felicia. She is from Sword and Wizards, the Emperor of Sword and Seven Lady Knight. And is a 1 7 scale figure and is exclusive because she is manufactured by Amakuni. And she is already paid. Uh, and I th actually think she's going to be in November because the release date is October slash November. And they like to hold out till the last second. And then I have, of course, fucking Tamamo. Tamamo no Mai. This is the Lancer version of her. She is from Fate Grand Order. She is in her beautiful swimsuit. And she is a 1-7 scale figure and is by Kotobukiya. Then in November... Fucking Tamamo, got her again. Yes, I had to. I just had to buy two of her. Uh, one seven scale from Kodabuki. Yeah. This one I bought from a U.S. store, which is why it's a month later. Uh, then in December, once again, I have nothing. How the hell did that happen? But then in January, you guessed it. I've got another fucking Tamamo. <laughs> This one is Tamamo Cat, the Berserker version of her. She is from Fate Grand Order and is a 1 7 scale figure by Max Factory. And then I have my goddess, Purple Heart. This one is from Yon Megami Online Cyber Dimension Neptune. And I think Purple Heart actually looks better in white. But this one is a 1 7 scale figure and is by Kara Annie and ASCII Media Works. And she is an exclusive, so she is already paid for. Hey, Milo. And then finally, in February, I have Kasumi Gaoka Utaha from Sinai Heroin no Sododaki. the Saikano. Uh, and she is a 1 7 scale figure by Good Smile. So, yay. That's a lot of pre orders. And I need more details because these are full, but that shall wait a little bit. So yay. We'll turn around and we'll look at some more wallpapers. So yeah, that is a mid-2017 collection tour. I hope you enjoyed. There's lots of stuff to come. I'm out. Bye-bye.